Well, some of the stories are unbelievable. There's a story from New Jersey, I think, about a, a doctor who uh, just thought it might be a good idea to branch out into plastic surgery. The problem is the guy is a gynecologist. So you really need to know what your resources are, how to keep yourself safe, how to make safe and smart choices. And I think that's what Smart Beauty Guide is all about. Board certification is, is really confusing. I've had other doctors in my office come to me for care, and, and they don't get it. And these are doctors. Really, the only board in the United States that certifies plastic surgeons is the American Board of Plastic Surgery. That's it. The important thing to know is to make sure someone is properly trained, make sure they are board certified, and they're practicing within their specialty. You've got pulmonologists, you've got radiologists, ER doctors, family practitioners, dentists that are putting breast implants in. Would you go to an Italian restaurant and order Chinese food? Probably not. You probably wouldn't ask your electrician to fix those pipes that are leaking either. So if you need plastic surgery, you probably want to look for your best, most qualified plastic surgeon, not your gynecologist or your pediatrician. Even if the risk of a complication is just 1%, if it happens to you, it feels like 100%. There's a difference between the lowest price and the best value. And, and that's what you've got to keep in mind. Sometimes paying a little extra is going to give you a much bigger value. You'll get what you pay for. You're going to get a better bargain, sometimes paying a little more.